My name is Doug Wooden. I'm the Farm to School Specialist with the UW Madison Center for Integrated Agricultural Systems. I'm also the parent of a nine year old daughter in the Madison School District. I'd like to comment on the topic of school nutrition standards for competitive foods. I've been working with school meal programs in Wisconsin since 2004 as they work to improve their programs, usually by increasing the amount of fresh fruits and vegetables served to their students. What motivates my work is the fact that we have elementary students with heart disease, more than one third of our kids are at risk for diabetes in their lifetime, and that these diseases can be mitigated by diet. Farm to school is one strategy schools are using to increase interest in and consumption of fresh fruits and vegetables by bringing in these foods from local farms. Local purchasing combined with education about the foods and farmers where the food comes from can be a powerful tool in helping students learn to make healthy choices. Despite stagnant reimbursement rates and rising food and staffing costs, many school districts are working hard to provide healthful meals. They're serving local apples through the fall, pumpkin soup right out of the pumpkin, and ratatouille topped pizza made in the summer from local vegetables and frozen for use during the school year. Getting students to eat healthy options for lunch is more difficult when there's an abundance of empty calories available in the form of potato chips, soda, and candy. Creating standards for these competitive foods will contribute to the success of these school meal programs efforts by creating a level and consistent playing field from which to serve healthful food to students. Most of my work has taken place in schools that have high percentages of low-income students. The sale of competitive foods is especially harmful for these students. If students from families with limited budgets eat less healthy snacks instead of a free or reduced price school meal, they lose out nutritionally in a much bigger way than their more affluent peers who make the same kind of choices, but are likely to be able to obtain healthy food in other ways. School meal programs have shown that unhealthy a la carte items can be replaced or eliminated with neutral and even positive impact on their budgets. Schools have shown that they can create similar sales and vending machines using healthier items as well. A school district in North Dakota required the school nutrition environment align with the health messages that are being taught to students in classrooms. I believe this to be a sound approach and one that students will recognize as having integrity.